Welcome to Flaps and Floats, Floats and Flaps, Part 2. If you want a little bit more in-depth commentary on the use of flaps on floats, uh, check out my, my Part 1. Here we are, part two of my flaps and floats, floats and flaps. On takeoff, we're pointing it into the wind. We're going to set the landing flaps, takeoff flaps. Set the takeoff flaps. And we're gonna pull a full up elevator until we get up onto step, and as soon as it gets up onto step. We'll release the elevator, let the plane go up on the step, neutral inputs, and use the rudder to keep it straight. If it's really smooth out, we might have to use just a touch of elevator just to break it free from the surface, but essentially we're going to let the flaps take it off. It'll actually pitch the nose up, and as soon as we reach full throttle and the airplane comes up off the water, we'll immediately, and I mean immediately, lift the flaps and the nose will come back down and we'll fly the airplane. Let's so go to wide open throttle gently. We don't want to induce much torque onto this. We'll let the flaps take it up. We're not going to use the elevator to take it up. The only thing I'm going to use the elevator for is basically to get up onto step. Here we are. Everything's neutral and we'll go to wide open throttle. And the flaps are up. And in order to set the flaps, we're going to go to takeoff flaps first. And to do so, we're not going to do it at high speed. We're going to bring the airplane kind of at the lower end of its speed range. In a conventional flying style. And the nose will pitch up. Use the elevator to kind of keep that under control, but then we'll wait for the airplane to slow down. Manage your throttle and eventually let it level out. Take off flaps. There it is, pitching up, it's lifting, and we'll just bleed off the speed. And we've got nice, slow, level flight maintained. And it's all about throttle management at this point. Really sensitive to throttle management. It is not the same plane that it was without flaps. And there's this basically this pitch, fixed speed that's going to fly at. The sweet spot, I'm going to call it.
and with a landing flaps you're going to repeat the same thing. Generally just doing that on the approach to landing. As you're getting dangerously slow with the landing flaps. Certainly with this one I got them set pretty aggressive. Come around, wait for set the flaps, it's slow. Here we go, it'll pitch up, gain some altitude, and we're gonna throttle manage to level flight. And it's really a mushy flying aircraft at this point. Very subject to turbulence. Flaps, it's all throttle management. And for the landing, it's about throttle management. We use a throttle to bring her close to the water, and just as we're ready to touch down, we'll begin the flare. Don't begin the flare until you're essentially kissing the water. So here, let's give this a shot. And flare. Flaps up. And for the taxi, we'll bring the flaps up, get some prop wash of the tail feathers, then use that up elevator to get her up on step, let go of the elevator. And that prop wash will get some authority over the tail feathers. All right, let's give this a shot. Take off flaps. Pull up. On the step, let go. Go to wide open throttle. Flaps up. That's it, pretty short takeoff with takeoff flaps. And we'll prep for the landing. Take off flaps. Leading off the speed. Find our new sweet spot there. Prep for landing flaps. Again, managing throttle and flare. Doesn't get much better than that. Flaps up. 
takeoff flaps. Time remaining, one minute. Landing flaps. Flaps up. Thousands, sixty, four holds, zero, landing flaps, 